Hello guys, this is from Open Source Channel. Welcome again to episode on how to. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, click on the bell icon so you can be notified for the next tutorials. So by looking to the previous videos, I just seen that some of my more successful tutorials are based on the particles and how to create effects in WordPress. Well, as you can see here, I got uh, one with 37,000. Okay, yes, some, you know, many other YouTubers got hundreds of thousands. I only got 37. So what's the, you know, what's the deal here? So anyway, I want to go make uh, a new tutorial on how to create different type of uh, effects and animation using CSS. So without any delay, let's uh, start and uh, let's have a look. So what I go here is a pre-made uh, website made with WordPress and uh, I think Astra. Yep, and um, I'm gonna use this website to show you some of the CSS um, animation. You can use a plugin or you can use just, for example, um, normal CSS that you can do it yourself. You can find some of the effects on the W3 website that I'm going to show you in a few moments. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to download the Animate It. I already downloaded it, but I'm going to show you where to find it and how to install it. So this is the Leopold, uh, I think uh, that's the way you pronounce it and as you can see this is a class generator WordPress and here you can generate some of the animations and effects so now we're going to activate the plugin now we go back to the website Leopold. I'm going to leave the link below so you know exactly where to go and get this generator. So we got the style, we got the delay, we got the duration and we got some of the animation uh, option there. This is the actual uh, style you can actually get. You can go spin, bounce, uh, rotate and even though it's more or less the same thing you can fade and so on and so forth okay as you can see from the animation top it shows you what actually does this is the spin there you can have the animation going indefinitely so it will never stop you can have on hoover for example it would not work on this demo you, on hoover is just when you put on your website and this is what i'm going to use now for hoover rather than just click and uh, and the other option so that's the pop there, as you can see. Sync. Some are subtle and very difficult to, you know, to, to figure out what actually does. So yeah, we go scroll, click, and over. So you generate, and then what you do is just copy and paste. That's all you do. And I'm going to show you where to actually paste this animation class once you copy it. So as you can see here, we got the menu. Now, if I go to, let's have a look. Appearance, oh, we can actually, I'm going to also going to show you how to use it with Elementor, but for now I'm going to appearance and I'm going to show you on the actual menu. Let me select the menu here. And once I load, I'm going to choose home or when any of the actual, as you can see, when any option, you know, any part of the menu. So you get here and you got CSS. Okay, classes here. Now it's optional. And what you do is just copy and paste this class inside. If you don't see it, well, there is the option is hide hidden. So you click on the screen option. And then as you can see there, 
as you can see, it disappeared. So if I go back on screen options and I click on CSS classes, the actual CSS classes option will appear. And this is where you actually paste the class that you copied from the other website. So let's go back to the website how it looks. I'm going to refresh because logically, if you don't refresh, you will not see the changes. So once it's been loaded again, and I'm going to hover, as you can see, I know it's very subtle and very difficult to see, but you, you can see it. it is quite visible. So let me close this one here. And uh, now as you can see here, you can do it, as I said earlier on, on over scroll and click. And it only works one at a time. It will not let you choose more than one. And uh, let's have a look wobble. There we go. Do it again here. No, I got to choose a different one and then go back on wobble. Wobble, what is wobble? There we go. So let me generate that so you can actually see the wobble. Come on. There we go. Copy. Let's go back here. Go to back to the menu. I'm going to delete this one I done and I'm going to replace it with a new one. Again, you can have one on each, you know, it's up to you. You can do it all of it. And believe it or not, you can actually give it one effect to every single option, you know, every part of the menu, every link or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to refresh now and uh, let's have the see the wobble when I over. There we go. <laughs> Much better now. He does a very good job. So, yeah, let's do this here now. Let me remove that. And I'm going to save it. What I think I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how to use it on, um, on Elementor. So, yeah. So I remove that so we don't have any effect on that. So I'm going to click on this one. There we go. Open Elementor. And I'm going to show you that you can use with images. You can use on text. You can use anywhere. As long as you can add the, the actual code, the, the class. And again, the Elementor, all you need is the free version. You don't need any pro. You do, everything's free here, okay? So as you can see here, even on Elementor, on the advanced tab, you got CSS class. And as you can see straight away, it actually shows the beauty pronounced wobbling. So I'm going to refresh that so you can actually see it. There we go. Every time I over on top, it will wobble. Lovely. Now let's see if I can find anything else. Uh, what should I use? Let's use fade, 0 0.5 delay and um, 1.5 seconds duration. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to use it any animation uh, for now. Or should I use it? Uh, yeah, let's do this one. So you can see it no way. Otherwise, I don't think you would be able to see it. So anyway, I'm going to replace that one with a new code. Or the class, as you want to call it, is up to you. I'm going to save it. And back to the website. Once it's been saved, I'm going to refresh again. So you can actually see that will fade every time I go with the mouse on top of it. There we go. And it goes back. I'm going back. I'm going to close this one here now. And I'm going to leave it, most of the stuff out so you can actually yourself practice. And, you know, you can discover that yourself. Let's cover the, uh, copy this one here. And I'm going to remove this one here. And I'm going to save that. Now, this one is without over anything. So what's going to happen is... Once actually loads, it will run and it will stay faded. That means totally out, as you can see here. So it will never come back. Of course, you can do the, ref um, the reverse where you can actually have 
from nothing faded completely to from zero to 100 percent so fully visible and i will be up here so that's fade and that's up here again you change the delay and the duration the longer the longer is going to take so let's try this one as well on the appear side this is what usually supposed to use you, of course you can use fade you can use anything you want so anyway, let's refresh and let's have a look how it looks. So that's it. And as you can see from faded, it will come as, you know, 100%. So it will appear. Let me open uh, here W3 CSS. There we go, the W3 schools. This is just to show you a little bit. So as you can see, we got some grayscale opacity. We got sepia. And again, you can do it over as well. There are many you can actually find on the net as well. But I'm going to use this one here so you can actually see how I do it. Okay. So I'm going to copy the actual reference of the CSS where the CSS is located. And I'm going to paste it into the snippets so what happens with the actual wordpress i got this um snippets that you can actually add to the header or further and you can add your own code all right so let me what i want to do let's go ahead go to plugins i'm going to add new and to search it just search for snippets or I don't know if that one comes up on the snippets or I'm going to do it totally different way. Yeah, we got code snippets. It's not the one I use. You can use that one, code snippets as well. You can use, there are many different ones, but I like to use this particular one that actually add to the, the um, header or footer. Okay. The Woody one is also pretty good, but um, let's put code snippets. And I think that will come up as you can see here. Here we go. We got the header and footer code, as you can see here. The, the manager one there. 100,000 activations. And this one is the one I actually installed, as you can see here. So let's go back to all snippets. And I'm going to create the snippets. I already got one already here. So um, what I'm going to do edit so you can actually see how it works Snip, you know snippets name and you can put anything you want and this is what i can actually you know this is where you can actually um paste the code and don't forget to add the colon at the end i had a problem with that colon so let's remove that and i'm going to actually recreate again so you can actually see the actual step itself so i'm going to press add the new snippet you're going to put a uh, snip name. In this case, I'm going to put W3. Here, you can actually choose where you want to display the snippet. I'm going to say site wide. Where you want to uh, put the actual code, I'm going to choose header. And I want to actually be visible for on and every devices. So I copied the actual snippet here code, and I'm going to add the color at the end. And I'm going to save it. That's all you actually need, okay? And then it's exactly as we done with the actual plugin. All you gotta do is just copy and paste. Simply copy and paste the class in the same location that we actually used for the, um, for the plugin. So let me show you here what I'm talking about. If I go to style, as you can see, we got the image. And now, if I want to add, for example, grayscale or, for example, sepia, change the color, all I got to do, go back to advanced, copy the actual code. No, it's not here, the one I want. It is actually on top here. There we go. So all I got to do is on Hoover, I want you to become sepia. So that's what I'm going to do here. You can have opacity, you can have a minimum, maximum, as you can see with the numbers there, 25%, 75%. You know, you, you can actually do a lot of things. So I'm going to paste the code here. I'm going to save it. 
And then now when I go over with the mouse on the website, I'm going to refresh it. Otherwise that code would not work. So as you can see, every time I go with the actual mouse on top of it, it will change the color to sepia. As simple as that. And again, there are many places you can actually find this type of effects. And of course, you know, with, with the CSS, you can actually download the file CSS and, you know, you can have actually FTP, find the actual path of the file, and then you can do it in that way. You know, most of the step is exactly the same. Perhaps in the future, I'm going to make another one on actually how to create the actual CSS file yourself. All right. So now let's go back here. And as you can see now, while I was talking, I done and I was doing, and it becomes as a, a grayscale. All right. So again, you can choose anything. So. Of course, here yeah, you can find some of the references, or how it looks with sepia and the over effects and everything. And it actually shows you the option for the opacity and, and so on and so forth. Very simple to use. And uh, again, you don't need a lot of um, experience on this. Now, this is also animation. This is exactly the same um, file path of uh, the one, you know, the, the W3 used the same path for that. But just to show you, I'm going to paste it again here so you can actually see it's exactly the same. You only need one anyway. You don't need it two. So once I'm done, I'm going to select again and I'm going to delete it. That's it. I'm going to save it, make sure. That is saved with one and not two. So let's um, let's remove this for example, and let's find some of the animation. Here we got the animate fading, and all you got to do again, you just copy, you go to the CSS classes, paste. We're gonna save it. And then when we go back to the website and refresh, again, don't forget you got to refresh it. That will change and it will fade. Still doing it now. There we go. As you can see, it actually faded in. Sorry, yeah, it faded in rather than out. So let's choose another one here. You can choose animate left, animate right. Now the only problem with this one, it comes as 300 pixels. So this actual uh, tutorial is very, very condensed. So I'm not gonna show you how to do, you know, how to change the CSS. One, because the actual file is not on my server, it's on W3, but you will have to change the, the pixels to the actual, uh, how wide it is your image. Again, mine is, a, Base, I think, was 1,200 and something. So, again, I don't know. I won't be able to change that. So, but anyway, just to show you how it works. And only part of the actual image now should... Uh, yeah, only part of the actual image should slide because, as I said, it's 300, 300 pixels and it's not the full amount. Let's do this here. And as you can see, it only part of it because the problem is it's only 300 pixels. And unfortunately, I couldn't change that. But otherwise, it would work, not a problem at all. Right, so there you can have a spin, you can have opacity. There is a lot to play with, to be honest with you. I don't want to go too much, and otherwise, it becomes monotonous. And I don't want to go on and on and on and show you the same thing all over again. So um, after this one, I think I'm going to call it for the day. And uh, let's see. And as you can see here, the opacity was applied. Again, guys, thanks again for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. The more you share, the more videos I can do. And I'll see you next time.